Roman Cart has got a number of different features to allow you to operate stock control on your website. Uh, if you take a look at the screen in front of us here, this is the product manager for one of our demo stores, the World of Wines demo store. So if we click on the configure link here, the stock control features are in this page here. So they start here. Um, so you can either switch off stock control completely, or you can use stock control and prevent products being sold if out of stock, or you can use stock control but allow products to be sold when out of stock. So let's just take a look at that. If we have, um, let's just prevent products being sold if they're out of stock. If I click on save changes there, and if I click on back, let's uh, make sure we've got a product that's out of stock. Right, so bottle of Chardonnay has got zero stock. So if I just uh, bring up the audio wines page from our demo store, then bottle of Chardonnay is this one at the top. You'll notice that if you click on add to basket, it says out of stock bottle of Chardonnay. That's it, so it won't let you purchase that item. I click on continue shopping. If I go back to the admin system again, click on configure. And this time let's change it to allow the products to be sold when they're out of stock and click on save changes. Now if we go to that page and add it to the basket, you'll see it's allowed to be added to the basket. But if we were to complete uh, that checkout process, then the stock for that item at the moment is zero. You know, say we purchase one, it would go to minus one, which is why on this uh, product here, it's minus six. It shows that it's it's been sold when out of stock. You know, many merchants prefer to do that because, uh, you know, maybe they can get new stock in very quickly and don't want people to think they're ever out of stock, but that's something for you to consider. So you're able to do that. Now, there's a couple of other options on here as well. And these are to do uh, with, firstly, you can send an email to this, to a specific email address when the stock is depleted. So you can uh, you can receive an alert when, when, the, when you're out of stock of a product. And you can show the stock level uh, on the upsell cross-sell page if available as well. So if, you've, if you're using the upsell cross-sell page, then you can also have your stock uh, shown on there. Uh, now the next items are to do with remote data delivery, and this is like this is um, this is how you really want to be using stock control. And I'll explain what I mean because the problem with um, the problem with the, the demonstration I just showed you there, if we just continue shopping, go back to that page, the problem is is that you're relying on people to click on add to basket button um, before they know that it's out of stock. So you, you can't tell that that product's out of stock unless you try and add it to your basket. So that's kind of too late really for most customers. And um, you know it's not a great way to do it. So a better way to do it is using what we call remote data delivery. So I'm just going to switch to a different store here. And this is our uh, One Shades sunglasses demo store. And a specific product here. Uh, this is 76575. I'm just going to show you that's got a stock of zero. If we click on configure and just check what the settings are at the moment for this store. Okay, so at the moment we've got prevent products being sold if they're out of stock. Then on remote data delivery, maximum stock to reveal is 25. When in stock, uh, show this amount, show this instead of the stock amount, the words in stock. And if it's out of stock and there's no OOS message, show this instead of the stock amount. So in other words, let's click on back. Let's look at this particular product here, 76575. If we look in the options section, there's an OOS message, message, that means out of stock message. So when it's out of stock, it's going to display that message using remote data delivery. And it's going to do that on your actual website. So um, if we take a look at that, it says order now for delivery next week. So that's great, isn't it? Kind of like sounds a bit better uh, than the words out of stock, but you might not be able to say that for every single product. So you just put that in the OOS message. And if we just take a look at that in action, here's the One Shades demo store. And you can see this is the product here. And you can see it says, stock level and it says order now for delivery next week if we were to bring that back into stock so if i just give it a stock of more than zero let's give it 10. in fact i'm going to have to do it over here so let's open let's just give it 10. okay now if we just refresh the one shades page so now it says stock level in stock and you could have um if we just go back to that page there again it says in stock because we've got it written in this field here. When in stock, show this instead of the stock amount. We could have, uh, we could remove that and leave that blank. And if you leave that blank, then it will show the number that's in stock. So here we've got stock level 10, it now says, just there. But imagine if we had like 100 in stock, you might want your, you might not want your competitors to know your exact stock level. So let's just say we had 100 in stock. Click on configure. 
then we've got this field here which is the maximum stock to reveal so it's only going to let on that we've got 25 or more products in stock so if we just uh, refresh that page now then you'll see rather than saying 100 it says stock level 25 plus but you know uh, the ultimate way you want to do stock control is you want to add in uh, email me when in stock to this as well so let's just say um, let's do that now okay so I've also removed the OOS message here so it says stock level out of stock and now automatically it says email me when back in stock and if I if uh, if you're a customer and you click on that link then it will say enter your email address below and click on the submit button to be notified when this product is back in stock you enter your first name there your email address there click on submit and then you'll be automatically notified when using the product manager the the stock is is increased above the level above zero so in other words when there's more back in stock then automatically an email will be sent out to those people waiting for it and you'll see the number of people waiting in this wait column here if you use this feature uh, and so that when that's when you update the stock then that's automatically uh, an email is automatically sent sent to them saying that that item is back in stock so that's that's kind of like the ultimate way of using stock control and uh, let's just take a look at what that looks like and that's completely automatic that text so if I put that back in stock now, I have to do it over here because that's been opened up. Hold on. Click on save. Now if I refresh that, so now it says that text is gone even when we went back in stock. And now it says stock level in stock. Uh, more info and you can buy now. So that's how you can use stock control. Now, a couple of things to note. Uh, firstly, um, it's important to remember that you need to be using a payment gateway where Roman Cart knows that the uh, the order has actually been paid. In other words, if you're if you're accepting payment types such as check, um, obviously Roman Cart doesn't know uh, whether you've received a valid check, so it can't mark things as out of stock. It won't reduce the stock level on orders placed by check. So uh, you need to be using a proper payment gateway uh, where the cart knows uh, that an order has been successful. So that's the overview of the various different stock control features on Roman Cart. And please do click on the other uh, screencasts which explain how to implement uh, remote data delivery and email me uh, when back in stock.